Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to implement a smart lighting system using an LDR sensor and a Raspberry Pi board. Smart lighting system is used to make the process of switching on and off the lights automated and also conserve a lot of power that is being wasted. So let's get started. The LDR sensor which I'm pointing to it is a light dependent resistor which calculates the luminous intensity in our project. Luminous intensity is inversely proportional to the resistance. So this sensor calculates the resistance value and thereby we track the luminous intensity and decide whether to switch on or off the lights. This LDR sensor is in turn connected to a ceramic capacitor of 0.1 microfarad which works on the basis of a time constant concept. The time constant says that the time taken to charge a capacitor is equal to the resistance into the capacitance of the circuit. So based on these values, we will be getting the resistance values and from there we will be making our decisions. The LEDs in our board make up the lights for us in this project. So on the LCD, we try to put the LDR values which we get from the sensor and along with that, in the next row, we will be printing the LED status on it. This is an I2C LCD so which has the ground, VCC, SD and SCL pins only. So this is mainly used to reduce the number of GPIO pins used on the Raspberry Pi board. Now let us see how the hardware works out. So this is the hardware setup I was talking about. So before we move on to the working, we'll take you to the connections now. So here you see the LTR sensor connected to the capacitor as I've shown it in the circuit diagram. This end of the LDR is going to GPIO 37 and this end is going to GPIO 17 on my board. So here you can see the LEDs and I've powered them on this side of the board. So this black wire is the ground and this one is a GPIO 18 on my board. So we move on to the LCD now. The LCD with this I2C black pack. So you can see here. It's inverted here. So let me take it closer. So here you can see the ground, VCC, SDA and the SEL pins. The ground and VCC have given the VCC as 5 volts and the SDA and SEL lines, the corresponding pins on the board, they shall be connected to it. So to power up my Raspberry Pi, I'll be using this USB cable. So let's get started with the working now. So I've powered up my Raspberry Pi now. Just waiting for it to boot up and get ready. So I've got my Raspberry Pi board connected now. I'm running the program. So as you can see here. LDR value is more than the threshold. The threshold is referred to as 500. So it's much more than 500. So the light starts glowing. So let us see if we can put it off from the light circuit. So you can see here my flash is on. The LDR value has dropped way below 500. And the lights are off. Now as soon as I switch it off, I get that the lights on. And the LDR is going to more than 1000. So this makes up the implementation. So I'm just starting the program now. Smart lighting mode is off. So now let's see what the code has got for us. So here we see the code files on the screen here. The one on the left 
the LDR underscore PR will be having the function of the LDR sensor from which you will be using to extract the values of the sensor. So the one on the right which is the smart lighting main this will be our main code file to run. So I'll start explaining from the LDR underscore PR. So here we start with our initial commands so it's import rpi.gpio as gpio and import the time module so if we move into our ldr function wherein we take two arguments the two pins which we are going to connect to the ldr sensor those two pins we take the pin numbers here as the arguments and then we set the gpio mode to the gpio.board naming we have two types of board namings here gpio.board and the gpio.bcm so the gpio.board goes by the naming as they are placed on the board so the pin numbers as per their placement on the board the gpio.bcm uses the gpio and the follow number followed by to name the pin so we will be using the gpio.board here so followed by the capacitor value it's a 0 0.1 microfarad we have an adjust voltage here. So to start with, we'll be initializing the two pins as the output and set them as low. So once we start charging the capacitor, we note the start time and we initialize the end time. So once the capacitor is charged completely, the end time is noted and then the time instant is taken by subtracting the end time and the start time here. And from there, we calculate the resistance values from the time constant formula. So here I've made a small adjustment as we use a 1 microfarad capacitor ideally. So as I'm using a 0.1 microfarad capacitor here, I've made this small adjustment for a better output. So we move on to our smart lighting main program. It starts in the same way. We start importing with rpi.gpio and we import the LDR function from the code file which have which we have written here ldr underscore pr contains the ldr function so we try to import it in this way and we have another lcd underscore i2c underscore lcd underscore driver file which is our file which we will be importing for the lcd functioning so my lcd will be the variable which has the initial commands of the i2c lcd so we will be using specific functions from the driver associated with my LCD now. So whenever we try to print something on the LCD, it's a good thing to do to clear the screen first and then display the strings. So we try to do the same thing here. We try to clear the screen and we display the strings. So the display string command function takes the string and the row number and the column that's the cursor from where it needs to start as the arguments so we have initialized the string as smart lighting first and then that will be printed in the first row and from the second column the same way we do it in the mode on text the second row and the fourth column so we start with the main function here while to we try to set the gpio mode and we put the warnings as false then we set the gpio as output and calculate the average here so we run through a lot of values where there might be a lot of fluctuations as well so try to normalize it by using the average value so we'll be calculating the average of five samples here and whenever the average is greater than 500 say so we put the gpio as high clear the lcd and update the status as well so corresponding ldr values along with the p average which we are getting the value of the p average variable so we have used round and str as round will put a rounding condition that is round up of the p average value p average will be a float value here so and followed by an L str which is actually to convert the float object into a string object so that it can be printed on the lcd 
so followed by the rows and the column from which it needs to print so the same way we put the LED status as LED on in this case so once we move into our else condition we put the pin low clear the LCD and then put the LDR values here in the same way which we did in the if condition there and we update the status as LED off whenever the keyboard interrupt is given so keyboard interrupt here is a control C which we give so whenever we get the keyboard interrupt I put some code here so whenever the keyboard interrupt is given I try to clear my LCD and put the smart lighting mode as off so I show this on the screen and then break the loop here so we add a command here gpi.cleanup which is a good way to clean whatever we have done on the GPS, whatever computation you have done on the GPS, this clears it off. So this is the way the code works. Thank you.